Welcome back and welcome to Vlogmas Day 12. Um, today is going to be another vlog for you. We're posting one of these every week, always going up on a Saturday. And this is the second week of the Romance Takeover Readathon. So you'll see me trying to get through the rest of the books on my TBR, as well as opening my advent calendars and doing other fun things that we've done this week. I will leave a playlist of my other Vlogmas videos linked up above in case you have missed them. As always, all of my social media links, as well as my blog and my Goodreads are in the description box below in case you want to follow me over there. Um, and yeah, I think that's all there is to say. Enjoy the vlog. It is Saturday morning and so far I've been listening to a little bit of crazy stupid bromance, drinking my cup of coffee with one with Polar Express mug this morning, although it's like literally barely full because <laughs> this is such a big mug um, and I've just been doing some editing in bed which is quite nice but um, I now have to go and plug this in. Um, I am going to read some more of this time next year um but i have that on audible and so when i'm down in the gym it's easier to listen to that one because sometimes i lose signal down there and if i'm playing a library book it just stops and then there's nothing i can do i'm just like so they're not listening to anything which is unheard of um so i'm gonna go plug this in and um i will update you with my reading later Right, I listened to a little more of Crazy Stupid Bromance and I'm now ready for the gym where I will listen to some more of this time next year. hayley has been texting me about what's been going on, so I'm, I'm interested. Apparently we learn a little bit more about Mr. Quinn. Um, so let's open our tea and I'm gonna make a cup of tea and call a friend that says the fifth, so it's up here. <gasps> oh, we have Wakey, wakey, must know that I slept in until 10. Literally didn't wake up until 10. Uh, rise and shine and backflip out of bed with this sprightly sip. Sprightly sip. Let's all say that together. Sprightly sip. A supercharged mix of yerba mate, guarana, peppermint and green tea. Okay, it contains licorice. Which I'm, I'm never as much of a fan of tea that contains like Well, I don't like licorice, so licorice licorice how do you say it tell me in the comments um and it's got a warning about the fact that it contains naturally occurring caffeine so we'll make this um and get on the phone and then i'll take you down to the gym with me oh but we need to open our other advent calendar uh let me go put this on to brew and then we'll come back and open up the other advent calendar yeah this morning's cup is so big that it doesn't even <laughs> the little like tea strainer thing it doesn't even sit in properly and it doesn't fit in a lot of cups okay let's find door number five on the friends advent calendar look at that i spotted it straight away that's the first time that's ever happened door number five happy holidays Feliz Navidad hello and merry christmas that's phoebe when she's ringing her bell outside macy's she's got that prime spot and then we know what happens next Oh, I think it's more tree hangers. So I actually have a sweater that matches this tree hanger. So we've got Ross Chandler and Monica on one side and Phoebe, Rachel and Joey on the other side. And then this one is, it's Christmas. Could I be more excited? And then the little um, print on the other side. So like I say, it matches my Christmas sweater. And I think maybe we'll put these on my pink tree. Um, the black tree's starting to look a bit busy. You know, we don't normally hang any decorations on the black tree and we've added, added some more mugs to it. So we'll go and hang these on the pink tree. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna drink my tea. And uh, Ollie's been making a Christmas cake, so I'm gonna lick the bowl and that's gonna be fun. And then yeah, Put on the audiobook, head down to the gym, all good. So after my listening in the gym, I'm not quite at the end of today's pages with Hayley yet, but um, I had a nice long phone call with a friend. And then we went out because I wanted to try the new Duncan drinks. So they do this new sugar plum macchiato, they call it. So it's like 
the sugar plum syrup stuff, the milk and the espresso. Um, and so it comes both hot and iced. And since I had a free drink on my account, I was like, we'll get both. So this is the iced one. Um, so yeah, it's got, we've got some nice layering going on there. I haven't tried this one yet, but I wanted to see, like I say, cause I got a free drink. I just got both in a large. Cause that's what you do. I wanted to see how purple this one was. So obviously this one isn't like as frothy, but um, let's see. You can see it's purple-ish. So it's not like as purple, but I will say if you're not a fan of like sweet and coffee, you won't like this because it's super sweet. It is literally like sugar and plum. But once you have, once you have like a sip of it, you then are like, oh, that's so sweet. And then you're like, yeah, but I'll have some more. I'll definitely have some more. So I did have some of the hot one in the car on the way back. And then um, I'm just gonna cleanse my palette with some pure espresso. I thought for a second there, my straw wasn't stripey. I'm like, Duncan does a stripey straw, what's going on? Okay, we're gonna give this one like a little mix. Let's see it, see it swirl. Okay, we're mostly mixed. See, now it's less purple. So I'm glad I had that separation because it just kind of looks gray. <laughs> yeah, see, it's less sweet in this, obviously, because we've had the ice to kind of dilute it a little bit. And normally with Dun Dunkin', I just do like, if I'm having a flavor, I just do one. They call it a swirl. One swirl of their flavor. So like, cause the Starbucks doesn't do gingerbread lattes anymore. I'll go and get a latte from Dunkin' and ask for like one swirl of um, gingerbread in there. That only works for me in a large though. It's almost too sweet, even if it's um, just the one swirl in a medium or a small, it's too much in a small. Um, but there was no option to change it on this one. So I don't know if I go in and like, build my own drink if I can add a swirl of the sugar plum and just do the one because it's not bad it's like if you've ever had the like sort of white chocolate raspberry coffee creamer or um like the sort of raspberry that you can get at Starbucks um or at Dutch Brothers um it's kind of like that because it's obviously like a a red fruity so I think I'm gonna put the iced one in the fridge for tomorrow and have this one just now and um, yeah, finish off my pages with uh, what I've been reading with Hayley. Cheers. So since it is Saturday, we just finished watching SNL. Um, so I think after I spoke to you, I didn't do any more reading of this time next year, but I am now going to go to bed, put my audiobook on and chill out. So I'll probably get a little bit more reading done and I will talk to you tomorrow. So it's Sunday, which means we have spoken to family and had some brunch. I've done a little bit of listening to Undercover Bromance this morning, but just kind of like bitty bits while I've been getting ready and stuff. Um, we are going to go out in a bit, run some errands and then go and see a Christmas movie, which uh, obviously I will take you along with. I've been enjoying my iced sugar plum macchiato from Dunkin that I got last night and put in the fridge. I forgot about it first thing, but I've been drinking that. Um, but yeah, since we're going to a drive-in movie, I don't want to drink too much for obvious reasons. Um, yeah. Let's open today's tea calendar, although depending what kind of tea it is, we might not drink it right away. We might wait until later, but we'll see what kind of tea it is first. As I just mentioned about not drinking too much. So today is the sixth, which is right here. Fabulous. Okay, it's an orange one. It's an orange one. Ooh, <laughs> this sounds lovely. It sounds proper, um, like, I know T2 is Australian, but it sounds proper, <laughs> proper like Yorkshire mixed with fancy tea. Okay, so this is ginger nut chai, 
a homage to the humble ginger nut bicky see that just sounds british to me this ginger nut chai has all the warming ginger and sweet maple you can handle paired with lingering notes of spice and zesty orange zing and it said it's perfect on its own or with a dash of milk so i was already thinking of putting some um like almond or oat milk into this one um but i think what we'll do is we'll save this for later because it sounds like a nice kind of bedtime drink whilst I snuggle up and listen to the last of this time next year. Um, Hayley's ahead of me and she's loving it and I think we might just bring you a whole video reviewing it here on this channel because um, it's quite a different and special book actually. Let us open the Friends Advent Calendar and see what we have in there. So we're looking for day six looking for day six you know what trouble i have of finding oh it's the big one with the holiday armadillo well there's more than one picture of a holiday armadillo on here obviously but the actual photo of a holiday armadillo we have to wait till 21 for the cartoon of the holiday armadillo let us open and see what we have oh 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 <gasps> I think that these might be friends post-its that is so exciting let's see it might just be a little notebook <laughs> either way friends notes no they are they are post-its <gasps> that's amazing I love a post-it oh that is good that's good of course um invented by Romy or Michelle Michelle I think she invented post-its or did the two of them together invent post-its um, if you know, you know. Uh, I love that. Okay, I'm off to finish getting ready and then, like I say, we'll take you out with us. I don't think there will be much coffee getting when we're out um, because obviously, yes, don't want to drink too much. So here's the screen. That's not too busy. And yeah. We've got a like nice sunset right now, so hopefully it goes dark nice and quickly, and then we can start on time. Don't forget to visit our refreshment center during the information or any time. You love the tasty array of snacks we have to offer. So will the youngsters. Everything is quality and mm -hmm. so good. <laughs> we hope you'll make this a weekly visit. Bring the family. Bring your friends. There are always wonderful new pictures to see. Delightful snacks to nibble. A gay, pleasant evening for all. A word of caution. Don't drive over 10 miles an hour in the theater area for your safety's sake. And mom or pop, go with the kids when they leave the car. We hope you have a wonderful time. Come back soon. So we're watching Polar Express. And there's a train horn in the background. How apt. So the driving was actually a lot of fun. Um, I think we both had quite like low expectations. Like the reviews online are really rubbish, but we paid nine dollars and we each each and we got to watch two films from the comfort of our own car. So we could like talk and we took some Pringles. I had a coffee. Like it's pretty good. Um, I'm gonna see what's playing next week. We might go back. It was. <laughs> It was really nice to go to the cinema again. Um, I checked in on Swarm and it was like, your last check-in was at AMC 24 in March. And I was like, yeah, I know, I know. And then it was like, your last check-in at an independent cinema um, was in, last check-in at an independent cinema was in February. And I'm like, yeah, I know. Are we, are we not aware, Swarm, that there's a global pandemic? Like, you don't need to tell me these things. I'm aware. Um, but yes, I'm going to put some splash of milk into my ginger nut chai. I'll do that and then I'll tell you what it's like. It smells really good, just like a biscuit. I don't know why I'm so static. It's so static. Okay, it looks really pathetically weak now. Maybe I shouldn't have put a splash of milk in. It is weak, but it's kind of a nice bedtime drink. Um, it's really like less hot than I thought it would be. I don't know. I didn't leave it brewing for that long. Well, I didn't leave it brewing for that long. Otherwise it would be stronger. But anyway, I'm tired. Like having a bit of a like night out tired me out.
Lift it. So last night I finished reading This Time Next Year by Sophie Cousins. This is the US cover. And you'll be pleased to know that this is me just about to publish my review. Fueled by my Polar Express coffee. Realised realized I should have taken this one to the drive-in with me last night and filled it with hot chocolate. Who watches Polar Express without the hot chocolate? I just completely forgot. Um, but yeah, in case you're wondering, I do have my peppermint coffee and my peppermint mocha coffee creamer in here. Love it. It's not too sweet. And it fueled my whole review writing. So let us hit publish. Are you ready? Yay! I hope you're proud of me. I really do. So today has been a day where there's been not much reading. It's five o'clock now just got up an hour um although it's not in the pretty festive cup my one yesterday the one the day before was in the pretty festive cup and i haven't shown you it yet and then today's one well, i'm going to show you it it's not in the festive cup it's just a regular regular green cup um we went for our walk um went and did a curbside pickup at best buy because that's life now, curbside pickup, um, and then curbside pickup of Panera, and now we're back, and Ollie is um, cooking dinner, so I'm just going to have a chill out, but yeah, that's what I love about this readathon, that I haven't actually done any reading today, I wrote my review, and I um, like put up my video and my review, and so, you know, I've had a blog post and a video go up today, but um, no reading as yet, but I am planning on getting in the bath later and so I'll probably probably do some reading in the bath and I also didn't clip my coupons from yesterday yet and so I need to do that and that's great for listening to an audiobook and clipping coupons because I need to finish Undercover Bromance before it returns to the library and I thought I was doing fine with it because I started it and I was like this is great and then I got carried away with um next this time that next year and so i've kind of been neglecting it a little bit but we'll get back to it it's fine so we've come for a walk at the same place as we came on wednesday so on wednesday it was too cold once we got out of the car and looked at the bison we decided that it was definitely too cold to walk so it's a lot nicer today um and we both just got a light hoodie on and it's good enough so it's monday I have about an hour and a half left in the audiobook of Crazy Stupid Bromance. Um, some of Lisa K. Adams' wonderful sex scenes have just happened and they're always safe as well, which I always appreciate. Um, I realise we haven't opened today's tea yet. I'm slipping behind. So um, I was like, oh, I could do with a drink. And I was like, the tea, of course. Um, so we are day seven which is right here so let's open day seven together Ooh, moroccan dreams i believe i've had this one i think it's like a green mint let's see ow just trapped my finger ow that hurt right on the end of like my nail ouch so um prepare to drift away on an authentic moroccan holiday fresh clean and full of subtle spearmint flavors this sweet yes smooth uh, mint brew hails straight from Morocco to your teacup. I do like a nice um, mint tea before bed anyway, so this is ideal. So we'll brew this up, um, and in the meantime, let's open today's friend advent calendar. Will I be able to find door number seven as easily on this one? <gasps> I spotted it straight away because it's got a big candy cane on it. Let's see what we have inside. So what, some of these are hard to get your fingers into without um, paper cutting your nail bed. Okay, so what we've got. Ooh, that's interesting. These are a couple of recipe cards. You know I don't cook, but I have, I 
I live with somebody who does. Um, but these are the um, Phoebe's Christmas Destiny salad and then it's got the quote on there okay but that's why you have to buy it so it can fulfill your Christmas destiny season 3 episode 10 um, this is sourdough bread uh, olive oil, garlic, Worcester red wine vinegar and romaine that sounds pretty good and then this one is little drops of heaven holiday candy it's candy time. My roommate says they taste like little drops of heaven. So this is this interesting. Um, butter, sugar, goat milk, and heavy cream. So I'm presuming this is like a kind of toffee or fudge. Um, oh, once cool, cover and refrigerate overnight until caramel becomes firm. So it is caramels. Uh, in case you were wondering how to say that, there's no, I've never changed the way I say caramel at all. Um, it's not going to change, no. Uh, there are certain things that I do say differently, apparently I say thank you differently now, but there you go. Um, let's go make our tea and then I'm going to take the rest of um, Undercover Bromance to bed with me. I just need to, I've got some links to put into another video that you'll already have seen um, and then yeah it's bedtime. So it's quite a fine tea so a lot of it has come out of the tea strainer already so see how successful this is. So we are just grabbing a well I say we Ollie's driving I'm grabbing a coffee um, Ollie's driving me to get a coffee uh, went to the gym this morning showered didn't take you with me because I just did not have the energy um, I just did some elliptical stuff and I didn't listen to audiobook while I was down there because I knew I needed to actually listen to a workout otherwise I would have done nothing. So we're getting a coffee, some sugar and caffeine to fuel me because in 20 minutes we have the uh, Books and the City 2021 showcase which should be fun. Right, I have not done any reading today yet to tell you about but the Simon & Schuster um, well Books in the City showcase for 2021 made me want to read all the 2021 releases right now um, and I was chatting to Hayley who was also watching it we were like both watching it she was in London watching it I was here watching it and we were messaging back and forth about like <laughs> what we're gonna buddy read and then we we're like let's buddy read booked for Christmas tomorrow which as you know is on my romance takeover TBR and it's like a short story from Lily Menon aka Sandy Menon so we're gonna read that tomorrow so at least I have some reading plans to tell you about and I will continue with confessions of, of a 40 something fuck up as well but we're gonna open today's tea because I could do with a cup of tea um we are looking for door eight there it is right at the bottom here right down here oh just got myself in the neck quite unwieldy Ooh, oh i haven't had this one in so long used to buy cubes of this one this is a good one and ollie also liked this one um this is the creme brulee Oh, a decadent sweet treat, velvety vanilla plays with rich caramel and smooth hazelnuts and a gloriously golden brew, an intense aroma that enhances a glorious infusion. A gorgeously golden blue. I was like, what, why have we used the word glorious twice? Um, so this will be nice with some oat milk in, I'm sure. So I'm going to go and brew this one and then just have a little relax. Let's just quickly open Friends Advent Calendar, door number eight, if we can find it. I found old Dawn and Break. I actually watched an episode of Friends this morning as well. My advent calendar's making me do it. Maybe that's what I'll do while I chill out with my tea. Oh, it's another, oh, it's another gift tag. How nice. Oh, you're the Joey to my Chandler. And on the back, it has the foosball table. I love that. I'm leaving the gift tags in here so that I can like collect them together and use them for next year's gifts that will be fun hey. i love it right let's go make some tea oh. 
smells so good. Good morning, it is Wednesday um, and we are gonna be so out all day today, we're gonna to go for a walk, but it's gonna be a bit further away. And then we're going to hopefully go and do the um, Christmas movie experience. Um, so that will be a separate vlog. Um, so I thought I would open my advent calendars now. We're not gonna make the tea now, um, even though, you know, it's 8.20, could be, could be tea making time. Um, but we'll open the advent calendars now because it'll be dark when I get back later. Um, and we might make this tea tonight, we might make it tomorrow. Breaking with tradition. So it is nine, yes. We're looking for nine, there it is. I spotted it over this side. I like how each window has a different design on it. Ooh. <clears throat> I have a version of this, actually a whole cube of it. I believe I got for Christmas last year. Um, this is Sticky Date Delight. I have the Sticky Date Chai, um, but this is one of their sort of former Christmas. I don't know, they might still have it. I don't go to T2, there's not one here in Denver. So um, the traditional sticky toffee pudding is your hot in your hot little hands. The indulgently rich tastes of caramel, silky smooth toffee sauce and steaming sticky date make it a drool worthy brew that's simply sublime. And this is one that you can pop some milk in as well. So this might be one to have um, before bed because it sounds quite sort of sweet and comforting. Um, yesterday, whilst I was drinking my creme brulee tea, I did enjoy reading about 10% of um, confessions of a 40 something fuck up. And then while we were out and about in the evening, we did like a grocery curbside pickup and a dinner curbside pickup. And then um, Ollie popped into a liquor store because uh, we need and um whilst we were doing that i was reading a little bit as well so i'm at about 15 percent of that i am loving it so far it's very relatable um if it continues going the way it does it could definitely be a new favorite of the year maybe i'll make a whole video talking about it um but yeah let's open the friends advent calendar briefly see if we can find number nine on here I was seeing 19 first. Oh, here, here we go. It's the one with Monica's boots. <laughs> I forgot that was a kind of Christmassy episode. I shall have to go back and watch before I get rid of HBO Max again. Oh, doesn't want to come out. No, it's a little book. So you can hang it on the tree, but <gasps> how cool is that? Hey, I just found out I got Ben for the holidays this year. Are you gonna dress up like Santa? No, I mean, I know Susan does every year, but I think I want to take this year to teach him all about Hanukkah. So Ben, you know what holiday is coming up, don't you? Christmas. I love it. It's like the whole, the whole script. <laughs> what happened to Santa holiday armadillo? Santa was unavailable, so close to Christmas. Wow, come in, have a seat. You must exa be exhausted coming up all the way from Texas. Love that. I immediately want to go away and watch that episode. Um, so yeah, so we're going to head out. Um, we'll probably pick up some breakfast and then, um, yeah, we're going for a, a nice walk this afternoon, further away because we can. Um, and yeah, that should be lovely. I will uh, catch up with you in a bit. Drinking peppermint coffee. This is cup number two, if you're keeping count. Watching a Disney Christmas movie. 
wrapping Christmas presents. These are just the last last minute few for this particular apartment um, since all the others went a while ago. So let us open today's advent calendar windows. For the record, I haven't drank yesterday's tea yet, but I am planning on having it with, um, I'm planning on reading this afternoon with that nice cup of tea. So let's see what is behind window number 10. Yes, even though it goes in order and we have an advent calendar to do it, I still have to look at the date. So window number 10 is up here. So let's open it and see what we have today. I will probably drink both of these today. Oh, nice, classy. They're very, very classic. I think this is like one of their best sellers. This is the French Earl Grey. Earl Grey with a French twist, which is oh so fruity. Medium body black tea with pretty petals and notes of fruit that play with classic bergamot in an inspiring, bold and refined infusion. Like a bit of Earl Grey. Can't remember the last time I had an Earl Grey tea. So uh, probably what we'll do is we'll have some Earl Grey and some of yesterday's tea with our reading this afternoon. And let's see what we have in advent calendar number two. Wonder how good I'll be at finding the number 10 on this one today. I can see 11. Oh, there we go. They've ruined cranberry day. It's a long one. Hope you don't get any paper cuts trying to get stuff out. It's difficult to get some of these out of here. Ooh, what do we have? Let's have a look. Um, are they like little card things? Un unsure what they are, but um. It's very shiny, very, very shiny. Uh, if you know what these are supposed to be, other than just little card things, let me know. I mean, maybe they're like for place cards. I, yeah. I like the little quotes on them though. Um, they've got like the little copyright thing on the back, but just tell you what they are. I don't, yep, I'm perplexed, YouTube, I am perplexed, it's nice though, okay, we're gonna have some lunch and then yeah, this afternoon, we shall maybe come over here and do some reading because I want to read Booked for Christmas by Lily Menon. So I made my French Earl Grey. You can see it's like hotter than the coffee because it's changed colours and it just smells amazing. I couldn't drink Earl Grey all the time but when I like start with a little Earl Grey like kick, especially this French Earl Grey, like say I had cubes and cubes of this one, um, oh, it's so good. So I have that. I've also brought a little candle through with me so I've got all like snuggly and festive um, with my festive bow um, and I'm about to start booked for Christmas so this one you know how it like tells you um, like information about the book and it tells you it says that this one is 89 pages so it'll take an hour and 39 minutes to read so we're starting at 14.21, so we'll see how we get on. So I have read the first three chapters of Booked for Christmas while I drank my French Earl Grey. It sounds very posh. Um, it's good so far. It reads a lot like a debut, even though we know that it isn't, so I'm hoping that that kind of gets a little better. Um, but it's cute so far. We're in like a cabin in rural Oregon. Um, and we have a writer who uses a pen name being written by a writer who uses a pen name. It's very like meta. <laughs> Our heroine has just become trapped in her own cabin with her 
book critic enemy. What's going to happen? They're snowed in. Ooh. So it turned out to be one of those kinder books where you get to like 80 odd percent and it finishes because the rest of it is a sneak peek of something else which I'm not mad about because um yeah I said an hour and 39 minutes reading time I started at 221 it's now 353 so that's hour and a half but in that time I did also go and like make another cup of, cup of tea and um rented a movie on Amazon I didn't like watch the movie but rented it for later um so yeah I'd say that was about right. Um, I like the ending. It was very sweet, very like saccharine. Um, but like in the best Christmas romance novella kind of way, you know, it was just, this was a lovely afternoon read that was two cups of tea long. Never mind hour and 30 minutes, two cups of tea. Probably could have drank a third one, but we shall see. But yeah, do recommend Booked for Christmas. I'll leave the download in the description box. So it is time to take this reading into the bath. Um, I have my Christmas pud, lush pud, bath bomb, I can't remember what it's called, and um because we went out to pick up dinner tonight i also picked up another earl grey tea from starbucks since i enjoyed my earl grey tea earlier so much um so i have my book i have my tea i have my lush bath bomb it's like ideal as long as i don't fall asleep in the bath because i was just finishing a blog post and i'm like i look and feel really tired <laughs> it's gonna be fine it's gonna be Last night I did read a little bit more of Confessions of a 40 something fuck up. I probably read about between reading before bed and reading a little bit over coffee this morning, I probably read about another 10%. Um, I'm not sure how long it is, it does seem quite long. Um, so I really was hoping to finish it today, but we'll just see. Um, this would tick off my for the romance takeover reading challenge, it would tick off like a hidden challenge that I had. Um, but it would also tick off the challenge of um, read a book that's been on your TBR for six plus months because this is the one that was like meant to be published at the beginning of the year and then got pushed and pushed and pushed and pushed and so 31st of December is now the like publication date but the ebook is already out so I've been reading it on the iPad and on my phone. Uh, so we're going to open today's advent calendar and then it will be time for my live which as you're watching this will have gone up yesterday so I will leave it probably in the end screen or up above if I've already got the link for it, it depends um, how long it takes the live to be shareable again so we'll open up today's tea i enjoyed yesterday's tea so much as you know i got another earl grey so we'll see what's on today today's day 11. oh i have day 11 right by my thumb here let's see what we've got oh could be an interesting one this is lemongrass and ginger i'm not normally a lemon and ginger tea fan um, but I do like lemongrass, I like it in like, we had Thai food last night, I like it in that kind of thing. Um, so with a hint of zest and a whole lot of spicy bright lemongrass, this brew smacks you sideways with a refreshing sensation that's as vibrant as it is engaging. Pucker up. Um, I feel like maybe we might try and make this now. It seems like something that's quite nice. So let's see what we've got in the Friends Advent Calendar. Day 11 was like one that I spotted because it's like the candy striped one over here with the fairy lights well they're not fairy lights are they the christmas lights can't do this one showing you it's too far away from the end of my arms let's see what we've got <laughs> that's funny it's got similar sayings so these are more baubles so i'll go hang these on my pink tree we've got friends on one side and the couch on the other i have sat on the Friends couch on the Warner Brothers Studio Tour twice now. Uh, a ruined cranberry day and the very classic turkey on the head. Oh my God, I love you moment. Um, yeah, these are just making me want to 
binge watch Friends. I tell you what I did watch some of last night that was making me cry. I've been watching 12 Dates of Christmas on HBO Max. They release new episodes every Thursday. And last Thursday they released like three episodes. And this Thursday they released another two. So it means that you'll like go, oh, there's another episode, I'll watch it. And then you'd be like, okay, I've run out of episodes now and there's a reunion special coming. And I've tried to find some stuff out on Instagram because whenever I'm watching these things, I'm like, where are they now? Let's see on Instagram. And they're very, they've obviously like signed a non-disclosure until the reunion show is up. So it's like, oh. it's like there's footage from the reunion show, but nothing like actually telling me anything. Um, but it was just making me cry last night. Um, the, the relationship that the characters have with their parents was just making me miss my parents and that was what was making me cry. It was very, very sweet. Um, so yeah, let me know, have you been watching that? I'm a, a bit of a sucker for a reality TV dating show. Um, so yeah, I was watching that before bed. <laughs> a little bit tired today from the like late night crying into my pillow. Oh well, um, we are going to go live in literally 30 minutes and talk about Christmas books. So that will be lovely. I um, was just playing like a Christmas music and from the movies medley thing on my phone whilst I was getting ready. So yeah, why, why don't we go and try this lemongrass and ginger tea? Why not? So let's give this tea a try. It's a... Uh... It's not the strongest, I have to say. Um, I was hoping for more. Well, uh, it's a good job I made a cup of coffee as well. <laughs> I wanted to redeem the lemongrass, lemon, ginger thing. Um, so I'm making a Christmas breakfast from my fla fla flavor festival. <laughs> I was like, is it festival flavor? Flavor festival. Um, so we're gonna make this, pop a splash of milk in it, and then sit down and watch the problem with mum. So in terms of the romance takeover readathon, these are the three things that I did before the readathon started. I posted my TBR both on the blog and on here. I also followed the hosts on here and on Instagram. And as you saw in last week's vlog, I attended Bethany's live show. Then the audiobook I did Undercover Bromance and In a Holidays. Um, recent release In a Holidays, Undercover Bromance, booked for Christmas. Library book was Undercover Bromance. A book that's been on my TBR for six plus months is Confession of a 40 something fuck up, which I only read half of, but I did also read um, Coming Home to Glendale Hall, so that was a, a bit of a win on that one. And then I read Undercover Romance, which was recommended by one of the hosts, aka Bethany. And the five-star prediction was In a Holidays, but also secretly basically everything that I read. I don't pick up a book going into it thinking, I'm not going to enjoy this. Um, so thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. And I will be back with another video for you tomorrow. So I will see you then.